Everyone, Red here. Welcome back to another moveset showcase video. Today we have two DLC movesets to showcase. The first one that you all know from the previous video is Koji Zenigata, but I will show the second one first because I think more people will actually know who it is. You might not be expecting this one at all. I just like the game, so I made a moveset. Uh, yeah, Hat Kid. If you don't know who this is, it's from a great game, A Hat in Time. If you haven't played it, go play it. You're, you're, you're missing out, dude. Uh, so first move is Umbrella. It's just some simple M1s. If you right click, you can use uh, Kid's Hat. And uh, I have no friends, so I can't really showcase this one. But what it will do is say this is a player. It'll make a bunch of particles up here up there and down there so like if you're far away you can't find them oh just look for the fucking particles in the sky <laughs> uh brewing hat you can throw potions at people ice hat once you do a ground pound type thing sprint hat makes you fast very straightforward stuff here uh, the Duelar Mask is a little more complicated. Uh, basically, you can use it to save yourself from falling, and you can also use it to get up from great heights, because if you're falling, it will immediately cancel your fall and put a platform below you, as well as put these platforms here and give you jump boost and slow falling. So, you can use it to get up to high areas, or just completely fuck with your opponents by chilling on a platform while they like try and heavy punch you from five miles away and then uh, the time stop hat uh, I'll probably show some footage here if I can find it but in game the time stop hat does not actually stop time it's a scam it just slows time down significantly so this does the same thing if I were to summon a husk here and go into game mode s and then use the time stop hat you can see that he's slow and i'm fast for a good little bit uh you might have seen it earlier but there's also one more thing you can do besides the moves and that is a uh, emote button if you crouch with your d summon you can <laughs> What is my life anymore? And anyways, uh, I accidentally made this like exactly 60 beats per minute So if you have any musical knowledge at all and you know what that means go for it All right, anyways, I'm in survival mode I need to be in not survival mode. Uh, obviously, Hat Kid will not be part of the Ito DLC. It will be its own special file. Uh, Koji Zenigata. So, uh, the passive for this one is that you get unlimited night vision. And you get this helmet put on your head, which is better than netherite. Uh, first move is Space Ripper. It's this little cleaver thing just your m1s if you right click you can shoot out an erased space projectile then you have distortion disorientation which is a dash attack that applies some effects to the enemy uh, warp step reversal is a two-stage attack where it pulls enemies in and then hits them like so Forwards or Razor Slashes is like Sakuna's slash dash combo on 10 pounds of heroin. Teleports you forward, glues everyone to you, and deals some decent damage. Uh, Distortion Burst unleashes that little wave of distortion there and applies some effects to all nearby. Warp Step. Uh, is a really unique move 
because while it's a time skip, it doesn't use it doesn't use time in that sense. Like most time skips, it uses space to launch you forward, which means you can use it in your time stop. Quick stop ambush. I think you all should know what that is by now. You crouch with your time skip and you teleport behind the nearest player. So, anyways, time stop. The move lasts 3 seconds, and as such, it has less cooldown and less wind up than most time stops. And, um. Yep, that's pretty much it. Oh, wait, hold up, hold up. I forgot the minor changes. We have. We have some things to go over. First of all, uh, a lot of skills had damage nerfs because we were having some balance issues with the Edo add-on. Either that or everyone else I've been fighting he just sucks major ass. And uh, Nolan got some new moves because yes. Uh, Yamato's parry or swords parry has been replaced with Convergence and Divergence. Convergence uh, pulls all players in nearby radius into you. That sounded weird, someone's gonna clip that. Uh, I meant like in front of you, it pulls all nearby players in front of you. Uh, so like if someone's running away, you can just pull them back. Uh, Divergence, if you crouch with it, you can do a different attack that pushes them away slightly and deal some damage and apply some slowness. Pretty useful. And uh, that's it. I've been thinking about making some ultimate moves for Nolan somehow whenever Go Beyond is active, but I'm still not really sure how I do that because I don't fucking know where to fit him. So. Uh, I, I just got an idea of where to fit them, so I guess you'll be seeing that next update. <laughs> uh, yep, that's it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for playing. Bye-bye. See you next update.